It is a pleasure to greet you on the occasion of the 2012 Forum of the World Summit on the Information Society. I wish to thank Mr. Hamadoun Touré, Secretary General of the International Telecommunications Union, and Mr. Juan Sumavia, Director General of International Labour Organization, two wonderful colleagues, for co-hosting this event and for their cooperation with UNESCO, the United Nations Development Program, and the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development. The world has changed dramatically since the World Summit on the Information Society. More than 87% of the world's population today has mobile phone access. There are 1.2 billion active mobile broadband subscriptions across the globe, representing 17% of the population. About the same number of people long on to a social network. Societies and individuals have never been as connected as they are today. At the same time, we see connectivity has limits. By itself, connectivity cannot build the people-centered, inclusive and development-oriented information societies envisioned by the World Summit on the Information Society. For UNESCO, the rollout of technologies must go hand in hand with enhancing human capacities and advancing human rights and fundamental freedoms, especially for the marginalized and most vulnerable. This is why UNESCO focuses on women and young people, on Africa, the least developed countries and small island developing states. We concentrate on universal access, on advancing quality education for all, on promoting freedom of expression, on developing the ethical and multilingual dimensions of cyberspace, and on ensuring respect for cultural diversity. This forum brings all of these dimensions together. This is how we can make a difference. As we approach 2015, the deadline for the internationally agreed development goals, we need to identify gaps and reflect on the future we wish to build. This requires commitment from all of us. It requires our planning and our ideas. With all stakeholders of the World Summit on the Information Society, the United Nations Group on the Information Society has developed an action plan that spells out the process towards the 2015 review at the United Nations General Assembly. This plan was endorsed last month by the United Nations Chief Executive's Board. UNESCO will host the first YCIS Plus 10 review event in 2013. I take this opportunity to invite you all to this meeting to be held at our headquarters on 25th to 27th February 2013. Ten years after the adoption of the Geneva Plan of Action, we must review achievements and trends. Most importantly, we must look forward. Our Knowledge Society's agenda has never been more important. The recommendations from the UNESCO event will feed into subsequent reviews held by the International Telecommunication Union in 2014 and the United Nations General Assembly in 2015. I wish you an excellent forum. Thank you again for your engagement with the goals we all share.